I'm Mel Myers. And I'm Hannah Henry. And, and this, this is Hawk News. Welcome to episode 17. Our Valentine's special. Let's get rolling with some announcements. The HJ Theater Department is hosting a dodgeball tournament to fundraise for the UIL One Act Play competition. The tournament will be February 21st starting at 4 p.m. Any student, teacher, coach, or administrator can play. There is a $5 registration fee to play, and there will be a cash prize to the winning team. See Miss Bain in the black box for more details. If you're interested in trying out for the 2024-2025 Harden Jefferson High School Cheerleading and Mascot Program, you and a parent or guardian must attend one of the parent meetings for more information on February 7th or 8th at 6 p.m. in the high school library. Mandatory trials will be held March 7th. Prom tickets are now $40 for the month of February. Make sure to buy them fast. Although we won't be on school on Valentine's Day, Student Council has been doing a great job making all these hearts around the school. Me and my friend Cole are going to say some really nice facts about Valentine's Day. Consumers buy over 58 million pounds of chocolate and candy for Valentine's Day. Men spend more money on Valentine's Day than women. Doctors want to prescribe chocolate to fix a broken heart. A jaw-dropping 145 million Valentine's Day cards go out every year. Valentine's Day by Hallie and Cole. A lot of our classmates are all coupled up. Locked in. I want to know, how well do they really know each other? I'm here with Justice Fippen, the other half, significant other, and hopefully Valentine of Xander Reeves. Am I correct? Did he ask you to be his Valentine? He is not. Uh, uh and he is standing out the outside of that door is that correct correct and he has seen you all day is that correct correct and he still hasn't asked you to be his valentine is that correct <laughs> yeah says a lot about his morality and character all right so i'm going to ask you a few questions about your hopefully valentine xander reeves is that okay with you do you consent i do <laughs> okay what is xander reeves birthday it is September 12th. 91206. What is his favorite color? Uh, green. Green, but like a dark forest green. What is his favorite number? Oh, maybe 28. Seven. Maybe. What is his favorite restaurant and order? Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. He gets like a 20 piece of honey bar. Wingstop. What is his favorite TV series or movie? Breaking Bad. Interstellar. What is his favorite aspect of you? Um, literally everything. Because I'm perfect. If we were to ask him that, would he say that exact same thing? I think he would because he tells me that, so... If Xander Reeves were to be a Disney character, who would he be? Probably Prince Charming. The, the guy from Tangled. I'm here with Xander Reeves, the significant other, other half of Justice Fippen. Is that your Valentine? It is indeed my Valentine. But have you asked her? Not yet. Are you planning to ask her or do you just assume? I'm thinking about it. All right, I'm gonna ask you multitudes of questions pertaining to Justice Fippen. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. What is Justice Fippen's birthday? <gasps> I know I know it because it's the password on my phone. <laughs> February 28th. 2006. February 27th. February 27th. February 27th. No, wait. Is that? It's that. No, it's 27th. It's 27th. Is it 27th or is it 28th? You're in so much trouble. Now we'll cut it out. Don't worry. Okay. What is Justice Pippin's favorite color? Pink. Blue. All right. What is her favorite number? Who has a favorite number? She did. Nobody has a favorite number. <laughs> Thirteen. Favorite number. Seven. Okay. Okay. What is her favorite TV show or movie? Criminal Minds. Favorite TV series is Criminal Minds. Yep. What is Justice Fippin's favorite aspect of you? My wallet. Good answer. Yes! Good answer. Can I have a girlfriend after Good answer. <laughs> what is your favorite aspect of Xander Reeves? Literally everything. 
because I love him. If Justice Fippen was a Disney character, who would she be? The evil witch from Tangled. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by that one. That's the one. I stand. All right, you're gonna be a bachelor now, buddy. I feel like in the halls this week went a couple of directions, so let's see what Carrington and Kendall put together for us. Hey guys, I'm Kendall. And I'm Carrington. And we're back with In the Halls. Happy Valentine's Day, but we couldn't figure out a segment this week, so here's some random videos. Let's go. Do you have a Valentine? Mm -mm. What's that over there? Do you have a Valentine? No. What is that? Take that. I'm here with Hayden Landry, the significant other, and Valentine, I hope, Yep. Yep. of Cassidy Riley. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you rolling? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So, I'm going to ask you questions pertaining to your Valentine. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you consent? I consent. And are you going to get them right? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. All right. At least you're honest. What is her birthday? January 5th, 2006. January 5th, 2006. What is his birthday? March 23rd. What year? 2006. Okay. March 23rd, 2006. What is her favorite color? Pink. Pink, okay. Pink. What is his favorite color? Red. Yeah, that's a good color. Red. All right, she got that one. I remember that one. What is her favorite number? One. One? Okay. What is your favorite number? Um, one. He's heating what is up. his favorite number? Um, 12. Uh, 21. Okay. What is his favorite restaurant and his order there? Um, the Chick-fil-A count. Yeah. Okay, he gets a 12 count with a root beer. 12 count with a root beer. Okay, okay. Chick-fil-A, 12 count meal, Dr. Pepper. What is her favorite restaurant and order? Chick-fil-A, uh, 8 count nuggets with a high C. Probably the same Chick-fil-A, and I get an 8 count meal with a... Sometimes sweet tea, sometimes high tea. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the Who would you give this conversation heart to? Uh Jeremiah. There you go. Well you can't have it, but who would you give this conversation heart to? Leah Broussard. Who would you give this heart to? Uh, right now? No, like out of anyone in the school, just like who would you give it to? Well, you. Aw, thanks. Thanks. Hi. Yes. Aww, who would you give this heart to? His mom. Uh, His mom? <laughs> Miss Trahan. Who would you give this heart to? Uh, my boyfriend, Eric. Aw. would you give this conversation heart to? Veronica. <laughs> Aw. Who would you give this heart to? I would give it to Heidi Pullum Barrett. Who would you give this conversation heart to? Carly Daigle. <laughs> Who would you give this heart to? In the school. Oh. <laughs> hug me. Um, London, I, London, I want London to hug me. Okay. Who would you give this conversation heart to? Miss Para. Wait, who would you give this conversation heart to? Um, Mrs. Doucette. Thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. I got your phone? What the dog doing? Okay. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Well, since you got your phone right. Yeah, right there. Right, right, there. Yeah, right, right there. I see your phone right there. Come on, pull it out. You go over there. Mm. It was at this moment he knew. 
Oh no 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 no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Why are you running? Where is he going? Oh, I'm almost out here. Some intricate questions. You think you can do it? Yeah, I got it. All right. I'm here with star pitcher of the Harden Jefferson varsity baseball team, Luke McLeod. How are you doing today, Luke? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. And I heard from a little birdie that you have a Valentine this year. Who is that? Yes, it's Skylar Hadnot. All right. So we're going to ask you a few questions about her. Are you okay with that? Do you consent? Yes. I, yes. And are you going to get all of them correct? Easily. All right. What, if you remember, was your first date with her? First date. First date, um, I think, I think, uh, we went to the movies together, maybe. Do you remember what movie? <laughs> no. So, Skylar, what was y'all's first date? We went to the movies, and then we went to eat. Where? What movie? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Spider-Man. You know his music taste, like what his favorite artist is? It's like Don, you know what I'm talking about? Young Dolph? Don. Don? He sings like <coughs> No Idea, like, uh, what is his name? Tolliver? Oh, Don Tolliver. Yes. Yeah. Alright, who is your favorite artist in music? Favorite artist? Probably. 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 J. Cole. J. Cole, okay. I didn't see that coming. What is her favorite aspect of you? Uh, I make her laugh a lot. Okay, so your humor, I like that. So what would be your favorite aspect of her? She also makes me laugh a lot. Okay, so mutual humor, I like that. What is his favorite thing about you? He probably said... Wait, am I saying what he said? Yes. Probably my hair or my eyes. What's your favorite thing about me? My favorite thing about Luke is, is probably his eyes or his hair or his smile. Ugh, Valentine's Day is dumb. No. Enough with the lovey-dovey stuff. Let's see what people actually don't like about each other. I went around to see what our biggest eggs are. Hello, I'm Emma. And I'm Addie. And today we're going to be dissing Valentine's Day. Because Cupid is stupid. I'm here with Ella, and what would you say is your biggest ick about a guy? When he's lazy. Yeah. What would you say your biggest ick about a girl is? Um, when they try to act dumb. Okay. Yeah. You're with Presley King, and what would you say is your biggest ick about a guy? Uh, I don't like when they have their toes out. <laughs> like flip flops, like sandals. Yeah. Like toes out, like I can see them. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm here with Jaden, and what would you say is your biggest ick about a girl? Biggest ick about a girl? Yes. If she has streaks with, like, more than five guys. More than five? Yeah, more than five. <laughs> too many. What would you say your biggest ick about a guy is? Oh, when they're, like, five foot two and they have something to say to me. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to be on Hawk News? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm here with Mariana. What's your biggest ick in a guy? Oh. Will you, will you have text good morning first? That's my biggest ick. Like, why? Like, you, you gotta text me good morning first so that you love me. Like, what's going on? Yeah, that's true. What would you say is your biggest ick about a guy? Really short shorts. Okay. I'm here with Coco. What's your biggest ick in a girl? Bad teeth. Bad teeth. Bad teeth. Bad teeth. I can't do that. That's really bad. Okay, I'm here with Luke and Skylar. Skylar, what's your biggest ick in a guy? Wait, let me think about it. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, Luke, what's your biggest ick in a girl? The way she chews her food. Uh, she me... chews so loud, and that's all I can hear whenever we're sitting next to each other. And it's so annoying. Ooh. Toe walkers. I like that. Oh, no. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest ick about a girl? 
Being too preppy. There you go. Okay, I'm here with Cameron and Reese Sand. What would y'all say y'all's biggest ics are in a guy? A high snap score. Like being disrespectful to their parents. Okay. I'm here with Cameron. What's your biggest ick? Put on like 68 pounds of makeup and look like frickin' Harry Potter's nose. Mm, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here with Meredith and Bennett, and what would y'all say is your biggest ick about a guy? Uh, when they cheat. cheat. <laughs> Emma, what's your biggest ick? Um, when a guy calls me shoddy or baby, what would yours be? When they get a girlfriend. You good? Uh, who would you not let date your sister? Uh, uh, Luke. So, uh, Coach Waller, uh, who on the baseball team would you not let date your daughter? Uh, let me think. Uh, definitely not Tristan Robinson. <laughs> Probably not Hayden Landry <laughs> or Luke McLeod. Um, those three guys are not getting anywhere near my daughter. <laughs> um, any others? No. The one I would most let date my daughter is Gunnar Sattler. No way, dude. How do you feel that, uh... Danny, Hunter Wallace, and Coach Waller said that they wouldn't let you date their daughter. Well, Danny has never had a girlfriend in his life, so he doesn't have an opinion. I don't even know who Hunter Wallace is. <laughs> and Coach Waller, he don't know me, so I'm a good boyfriend. Who would you not let uh, date your sister? Oh, Ryan Samoff. Oh, that's a good one. Who would you not let date your daughter? Aaron Allen. 100%. <laughs> Uh, who'd you not let date your daughter? That big man over there. Put the camera over there. The big, all them dreads right there. The dreads? Yeah. Big, big Let's one. go to him and ask him what he feels. How do you feel that Henry said that he wouldn't let you date, date his daughter? I'll date his daughter watch. <laughs> I'll date his daughter watch. I'll be a 60 year old man dating his daughter. <laughs> who'd you not let date your daughter? Yeah, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel that Carter said that he wasn't? Let you date his daughter. I hate him That's with crazy. a passion. Who on the coaching staff would you not let date your daughter? Definitely not Coach Ramsey, man. There's absolutely no chance if I had a daughter, he would ever date her. 100%. <laughs> Who on the coaching staff would you not let date your daughter? Uh, probably have to say Coach Langston. Definitely Coach Langston. <laughs> Who on the football team would you not let date your daughter? Roger. I, yeah, Roger. I don't think about it. Definitely Roger. Dang. We're going to have to ask Roger about that one. Who on the football team would you not let date your daughter? How do you feel that Roger said he would not let y'all date his daughter? Uh, I find that kind of hard to believe. Because I feel like if anybody, it is him. Oh, so it's a little ironic is what you're saying. Very. Very to say the least. Uh, I feel like that's disrespectful. Because I know I treat every... Young lady, nice, and uh, I think I deserve that same respect. I believe that. Who on the baseball team would you not let date your daughter? Uh, Chase Hughes. The king of calories himself. Ready? Who on the basketball team would you not let date your daughter? They my daughter. Neither one of them. Huh? Who on the basketball team would you not let date your daughter? Uh, I would not let Coach Bruce date my daughter. Not at all. He can't shoot. How do you feel that uh, Coco said that he wouldn't let you date his daughter? That's fine. I wouldn't let Coco date mine. <laughs> uh, who on the soccer team would you not let date your daughter? Caleb Head. That's three. Who on the softball team would you not let date your son? Probably Tariana. Uh, who on the soccer team would you not let date your son? Emma. <laughs> Alright, I'm here with Hayden Henry, the boyfriend and valentine of Summer Leje. How are you doing today, my friend? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you a series of questions pertaining to your Valentine. Are you ready and do you consent? Yeah. Okay, what is Summer Leger's birthday? December 25th. Okay, are you sure? Yeah. Christmas Day? Yeah. December 25th. Do you know when his birthday is? Yes. When is it? February 15th. February 15th. Okay, okay would you guess that? Doesn't matter. Yes. Yeah. What is his favorite color? Either blue or red. What do you think he said yours was? He's probably pink. So, 
What is your favorite color? Color is blue. Yeah. Okay. What is her favorite color? Uh, red. Red. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Well. Oh. Purple. She never told me purple. Purple. You never. That's like one of the main questions you ask. Oh, that's that's kind of scary. If she were to choose a restaurant to go to, what would be her first choice? Carabas. Carabas. Yeah. Bougie. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant, and what would you order there? I have to go to Carabas. What was your first date with Summer Leje? Uh, we went to Carabas. Uh, what was y'all's first date? Uh, we went to go eat, and then we went to the movies. Where? What movies? We went to eat at Carabas, and I don't remember what movie we watched. Um, how long have y'all been dating? Ten months. You think he knows? Yeah. What's your girlfriend's last name? Rodriguez. Okay. We're already married. Oh. I thought y'all were like siblings. I'm here with Christian Rodriguez, the significant other half of Nayeli Rodriguez, an already married couple. Is that correct? Indeed. All right. I'm going to ask you a few questions pertaining to your significant other and is she your valentine? Uh, not yet. I still got to ask her. Okay. Well, at least she knows what the mission is. What is Nayeli's birthday? It's January 28th. What year? 2007. January 28th, 2008. 2008? 2008. <laughs> What do you say? He said 2007. Okay. What is her favorite color? Purple. I don't even have like black or pink. What is her favorite number? Number seven. Mm, seven. What is her favorite restaurant and order there? Probably Wingstop, and she likes the uh, lemon pepper dry rub and barbecue. I don't know the other one. Barbecue. Oh, she likes Buffalo Wild Wings, lemon pepper, and barbecue. Yeah. That was actually pretty funny. Some of them seem like they share a brain, but some of them were surprisingly clueless about each other. And now for HJ Sports. Well I'm here with Zanman. I'm here with Wyatt Samaha, and, and we, we are HJ Sports. Now we're going to start off with girls basketball. Of course, they beat Huffman with an incredible score of 73 to 13, and they took down HF last night to round out the eighth undefeated district season in a row. Easy entry into the playoffs. Boys basketball beat Huffman in a close game last Friday with a score of 67 to 63. They need to win tonight against HF to keep their playoff hopes alive, and then they play Livingston at home Friday night for senior night and the last district game of the season. Hey, pretty sure that Huffman win was a big one. It was, it was. They were ranked 18th in the state in 4A. Hey, great job, Hawks. Love to see you. Along with that great upset the boys had against Huffman, we have a great play by your very own Brad Marshall. It's going to be up here, too. All right, now to baseball. Baseball kicked off their season with a scrimmage at Crosby on Monday, and they played Big Sandy at home for their opener at home on Friday at 7. Be there, be loud. Softball also had a scrimmage yesterday against Woodville, and they have another scrimmage on Friday against Negroland. Now we're on to boys soccer. They had a game last Friday against Jasper and won 5-3. Whoa. They played Sylvie yesterday at home, and the next game is at home against Vider on Friday at 7. And also then Lumberton next Tuesday at home. A long stretch of home games, we want to see all there out supporting. While we're on the topic of boys soccer, I want to mention how good of a game Carson LaBoard and Caleb Cheshire had against Jasper. I believe Carson had three goals, one assist, and Caleb had one goal and one assist. Hey, we have some clips for y'all right here. Actually, it's up, no, it's up there. It's, it's going to be up there. And the other sports team, they, uh, they interviewed Coach Calvert with the soccer team. All right, guys, we're here interviewing HJ soccer coach, Coach Calvert. Coach Calvert, how are you doing today? Doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So, let's start it off. So, you were at HJ before, and then you left and came back. So, where were you in between? In between, I went over to West Orange Star. Okay, okay. Yeah. What is the biggest difference between where you last coached and here at HJ? Uh, difference, 
uh, between West Orange and here. You have a lot of, uh, I would say, one-sport athletes at West Orange. Mm-hmm. Um, not as many multi-sport guys, so they're able to maybe get into the weight room a little bit more, maybe get onto the track a little bit more, do more off-season type stuff. Coach, there's been a lot of buzz around your team this season, considering y'all have tripled y'all's wins from last year, and y'all are in the middle of the season. What would you really say has been the re- maybe reason for all this immediate success? Um, well, being that I was here before, there was some familiarity. Um, uh, the guys kind of knew what to expect from me. I kind of knew what to expect. A lot of the seniors I had as sophomores, um, some of the guys that are juniors I had as freshmen. Um, so there was some familiarity. They know kind of what I expect as far as how to play within the system that we want to play on the soccer field. Um, but other than that, you know, uh, just just trying to get guys where they fit um, and trying to trying to do the best we can every time we go. So we've all heard a lot about how your team is very competitive and how they really like to go at other teams, sometimes even get a little too physical. But uh, what would you say is, is the identity of this year's soccer team? Uh, so our soccer guys, yeah, they're known for being uh, a little over the top sometimes. Um, that being said, I – um, want the team to kind of be a reflection of myself um, as far as, you know, we're, they're going to work incredibly hard uh, as far as playing with all the effort they possibly can get. All right, that wraps up the interview. See you, Coach. Our boys soccer team has done great things this year. Can't wait to see what they keep doing and hopefully turn up in the playoffs. Girls soccer is still doing their thing. They beat Jasper last Friday 1-0 and then beat Silsby 2-0 on Monday. They play Vider away on Friday. Hey, they're really on a roll. They are. They're moving. Mm. Don't forget, it's the boys basketball senior night Friday. Go out, be supportive, be loud. And as always, it's Wyatt Samantha. This is Andrew Reeves. And we're sports. Yep. Have a great break, and we'll see y'all in two weeks. Weather. 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 What up? It's Beasy, and I'm back with your weekly weather report. Thursday, the rain is going to be falling down on us. With Friday being kind of gray and right, kind of chilly. And Saturday being bright and shiny. Sunday, back to the old boring rain. I hope everybody have a good Valentine's and a good and a good uh, winter break. Till next time. That's all for this episode. I know y'all enjoyed our Valentine's special. We hope everyone has a good winter break next week. And as always, it's, it's a great day to be a hawk. Hawk Nation, let's fly.